Gaming Division. Salutations, I am Cam Ryan, welcome to Gaming Division. Today's going to be an unboxing for Battlestar Galactica, the board game, Exodus Expansion. Dun dun dun. Let's see what's inside. You know what, I'm starting to realize now if I was smarter, I would pre chew or set holes so I could just rip these and make it look like magic. It's a good idea for a future video. There we go. So what happened there is one of the corners had ripped. Instead of like prying at the seam. Every day is Christmas. Let's do the new box smell. The new box sound rather. Okay, yeah. I think Fantasy Flight does something to their, their games where it just doesn't pop correctly. Of course, because it's Fantasy Flight, we get a little pamphlet telling you all the other games that there's to play. Carefully place that next to you and not throw it across the room. Um, we get a rule book. This is potentially problematic as well because this feels about as thick as the Daybreak one. Um, and again, not as thick as the Pegasus one. So I'm very curious to see what happens in this the rules. Um, we've got some characters here. Let's see. Uh, Gata. Felix. I, I remember him. He's the one that steps up uh, in Exo's absence, I think. Uh, he's a communications officer. Um, Callie. Tori Foster. And Anders. Only four of them this time. That's fine. Uh, there are a lot of characters in this game at this point, so Depending on how you want to play, I mean, you could probably pick one at random or, or pick one and see where it goes for you. Um, it's interesting. We've got another large thing here, and I don't know if this is a... Let's open it up and find out. It looks like it's another location, like another ship, um, but I think we had a Rebel Battlestar in Daybreak. So I'm not sure what happened here. And if you haven't watched it, uh, um, this is right after the Daybreak Pegasus video. Uh, I just had to go pick it up because I didn't realize it was a thing. Um, not how I normally buy board games, but for things, when you run across things that are, you've been taught are harder to find, uh, you react if you were able. Okay, so. So we've got, yeah, we've got this board, and it looks like kind of the same thing I was talking about before, like it's going to track uh, the Cylon fleet coming in, but we've got a base star bridge. You can choose two of the following, so there's got to be something specific with this, and there's a clock here, I don't know if you can see it, so there's one, two, I'm assuming three, four, no, one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight. Um, so there's sectors. So that's that's kind of interesting. Um, that's something they did. Uh, let's go over here. Um, we also have our little cardboard thing. Um, oh, these are two sided. So these symbols. I don't know what they are. Uh, also have another side there. They're like little. Uh, conics is, is what they look like. I don't know. But uh, and you got a bunch of character discs up here, so I think this might be replacements for other ones. Um, and then the four characters that we got, plus an Anders disc for whatever reason. Um, yeah, so that's all going to be fun to pop out. Let's see. For minis, we've got... Some what looks like upgraded Cylon Raiders. I don't know if you can see those or not. Let's see if I can do that properly. Um, and it looks like some upgraded Vipers as well. Whoops. Plus, that's a stealth ship. I just grabbed one. No. No, that is cool. That would be cool to have Starbucks a uh, stealth ship. Um, I know it's a lousy fighter, but to do like some kind of reconnaissance in the game would be interesting. Okay, so for the 
Tiny cards. <coughs> you got what looks like planetary cards for like discovery or something. Um, we got some blue, green, red, yellow, purple cards um, to add to all the million other ones that we have. <coughs> We've got the large cards. And this is interesting. So I don't know if these are supposed to be randomizer cards or what, but they've got all the characters on them. Um, and as soon as I can get to a stop of it, there we go. So that's the picture on the back. It's got a good amount of the crew there. Uh, that's what the fronts look like. That's Callie's card there. Um, and they look like um, they're essentially just smaller versions of the larger character cards. Oh, but they have the Renegade Paragon type uh, things on there, if you look right here. So that's what I was referring to as uh, Paragon and Renegade. But if you aren't familiar with the terms, just good and bad. Um, that's it's impressions. I don't haven't read the rules yet. Um, oh, of course, we have uh, objective cards again. Uh, you are a Cylon. You are not a Cylon. You are a Cylon with a personal goal. You are not a Cylon with a personal goal. Um, so that's those cards. I like to have to capitalize the first letter of every word. Wow. So, I'm so eager to mix these together and play some crazy version. <coughs> Um, we've got some more action and event cards. Boop, boop, boop. I wish I had more to say about these. Um, but I think it's going to actually take some exploring into the game and knowing how to play to understand exactly what everything is. Um, but these, I believe, are roll cards. Like um, every round or whatever, so a different person is admiral. Um, so they're the, the one in charge while everyone else is trying to work around that, um, if I am correct. It looks like um, they've got a CAG as well. Um, uh, for those not familiar, it is, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> um, civilian, or, uh, I don't know. It has something to do with the, the ships. It's, it's essentially head of pilots. Um, but there's plenty of cards in here. I mean, you see the stack. Um, these are the smaller ones. And then this, I also had this with it, which is the, the roll cards or whatever. So you're getting a lot out of the expansions. And if you like the base game, you're going to like the expansions. Um, I'm super eager to find out what's going on with the Space Star. Let me look at the rule book real quick, um, and I'll, I'll see if I can't clarify that. Just hang on. Okay, so that board is definitely a Cylon fleet. Uh, it looks like it's chasing the Battlestar Galactica. So that makes sense. Um, the Paragon and Renegade thing is essentially that. Um, I didn't really spend too much more time on it. I just wanted to make sure uh, that everything's on the up and up. Uh, Commander Air Group is what CAG stands for. Fun fact for you. So this has been an unboxing for the Battlestar Galactica board game Exodus expansion. Uh, I am Camry, and until you see me next time, that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.